guys welcome back to the vlog it's been a couple of days since i vlogged actually it's been a couple of days since i vlogged but um i wanted to do an activity and share some thoughts with you guys because i do have some thoughts about a specific topic that i want to share in this vlog so i hope that the people that watch my vlog thank you for watching by the way watch the entire vlog so that you can get these little tiny snippet bits of value that i'm hoping to continue to bring to my vlogs that was a lot to say but yeah so let me just put you guys on my tripod okay so Got a package from Amazon. In here should be my zero water filter. So here it is, the cause of my unhappiness for the last couple of days. I mean, not having it caused me to be unhappy. Now this is a thought. I thought it was very strange that they have poisoned our water and we are then apt to buy all these different tools to filter our water that was given to us very freely um, from the crew to God Almighty. And we are then now slaves to consumerism and buying these things, which on one end of the spectrum, they help or do they? Who really knows, right? But on the other end of the spectrum, you are now a slave to filtration systems when they could just stop poisoning our water so that we can have clean, fresh water that is purified by the earth and given to us freely as it was meant to be, you know, so that we can have like water freedom, you know? But um, that, that has been a gripe for me and I'm not sure that I'm articulating exactly how I feel or all the things that I feel, but I find it I find it a bit disgusting. Not zero water filter. All the people who have contributed to this this water not being free, not being pure like it was intended and not being good for us. So the zero water filter looks like this. Of course, like I show you, it comes in a box like this. In my in my initial package, it did come with one of these tools so that you can test your water. And the tool looks like this. I'm gonna show you guys how I put this together. Okay, so I'm just gonna wash my hands just before I get into all of the water stuff because it makes sense. Cleanliness is next to godliness. All right, so the filtration system comes looking like this. I I think this is like the one gallon, I believe. This holds one gallon. It may hold less, I am not quite sure. Let's see. Okay, it doesn't tell me on the bottom how many gallons, but it comes looking like this. It comes with a lid and it comes with this inner piece. It's a little wet because I just washed it and it comes with this piece that just fits in there like that. This is the filter. You just open this up, take off the lid. It looks like that. The water pours out to it through that little hole. I just take it off and I screw it onto here. I just washed my hands, but I'm still gonna like give it a little rinse. like that then I sit it in here and I just fill that up and I normally just before I move it I try to put the lid on before any water and then I put it over here and before you know it, I have clean water. And honestly, when I don't drink water, I'm a monster. And I've literally been a monster for the past couple of days. I've literally just been disastrous because my body is fiending for water, purified clean water, and it just did not have it. And I don't know. I know what I want to say, right? And people would rather me not say what I mean to say or what I need to say. 
but we as a people we need to fight for our freedom we need to fight for our water freedom because all these chemicals that are coming up in our water and all the chemicals that they put in our water to do whatever they're doing we need to find a way to fight for our water freedom you know what I mean or water needs to be clean free of plastic heavy metals chemicals and all these other substances like why is it that we are not able to drink the water straight out of the tap then what is the use of having a tap in your house if you have to go out and get filtration systems to get your water clean i mean yeah we have to make take measures in the time being but who are the people that are fighting for this water freedom because i want to be a part of it because i can't this is not right this is this is not good for us and i just i don't like it i i just don't like it i don't like that i have to be a slave to a filtration system to get me clean water like what is the use of the state what is the use of reservoirs holding water to filter it like why are you filtering it if you're gonna filter it filter it and put chemicals in it you know what i mean like chemicals that are harmful for humans over time like what are you doing and why are you doing it you know and there could be a multitude of answers for that and i'm sure most of us know but what are we doing about it because it's ridiculous and I had a lot more to say but to be honest I just I don't know I just feel I feel a responsibility to protect myself over all else but in protecting myself I must still hold true to my values and my values dictate that I speak up against what is not right and therefore try to make it right or do something about it and I don't know I just felt compelled to talk about it because it's something that is very complex and plagues me profusely and I just find that it's almost like we're slaves to water filtration systems and some of these filtration systems don't even get rid of all of the chemicals I mean I had a Brita water filter previous to my zero water filter and I'm telling you it really did not do anything much it just made the water taste a little bit better it was not removing heavy metals it wasn't removing like chloride fluoride it wasn't removing anything now the zero water filter it shows up zero when I test the tap water the tap water shows up higher than the zero water filter which means there's more toxins in there and I can even do a little bit of test for you now to show you how high of like contents that are in the water that are not supposed to be in there let's do a little test and like see because I, I would love to show you guys how I test the water and stuff like that okay so here I have two glasses I'm going to put one with tap water, that one. And then this one, I'm gonna put the zero water in. So we have water one and water two. I'm gonna bring you closer. Now I'm going to use this tester that zero water sent to me to just test the water. We're testing the water for how many dissolved solids are in there. So I'm going to turn this on. It shows up like this when you turn it on and I'm gonna hold and then I'm going to dip it into the filtered water first. And that shows up as zero. I'm not sure if you're seeing that. Zoom in some more. Kind of flash that out. And then we're gonna dip it into the tap water. And I'm not sure that you're seeing that, but that's showing up as 253. And that's, that's a huge jump. That's a huge jump. And let me give you a, a close up again. We're gonna smash that out. Bring these out like this. Put you guys a little bit more center. And filtered water, zero. You can see that. Let me zoom in on you. Zero, right? Flash that out. Put it in tap water. See that? 253. And currently I don't know all the technical names to talk about the water, but just the fact that 
the the content of toxins are higher in this one just it's it's scary you know it's scary it's extremely scary for me and i think that's something that you need to be scared of because our bodies is 70% water. And what happens when all our water is infused with chemicals and toxins and um, heavy metals and solids and fluoride? Who do we become when that is our genetic makeup? When that is in our cells, in our body, in our, like how does our minds function when that's what we're putting into our bodies? You know what I mean? And that's, that's the point here. Who are we when we're not, or natural cells when we're not intaking naturalness as God intended when when things were already pure and good and sacred you know and then we think we are genius and we're doing something good or we have ulterior motives or intentions and we we really with what God has created or we really mess with what God has created and then we ask people to drink that or to inhale that who do they become and what kind of society is that you know what I mean so just a thought just a thought um just a thought just wanted to share that thought because it was something that came across my mind and I've been thinking very deeply about it and I don't know, it's a conversation starter. If you want to have a conversation about it in the comment section, we can definitely just talk about it some more. And yeah, but it is upsetting to me and it is sad. And I don't know, I feel I feel very, it's just like off-putting for me and which is why I would rather to wait for my filtration system than to inhale toxic waste and put toxic waste in my body. You know what I mean? Yeah, our body is self-cleansing and whatever we tell ourselves, like somebody could be eating poison and because they believe it's not poison, it may not kill them. But because I've dealt deep within this for quite some time and I've been filtering my water for years now. There's plenty of different filtration systems that I've used. I used to use Adia water, which is like, it's it's um, this chemical that come from volcanic rocks that you drop a few into like a gallon of water and you wait for it to settle and then you filter the water with like a coffee filter so that the solids that settle don't get into your water. But that was such a, that was such a task, you know? It was such a task to do every single time that I wanted something that was more convenient that worked and I moved on to Brita and now I'm at the zero water now I feel like I'm still going to use Adia water because that actually mineralizes the water it detoxifies the water and allows the water to just be water if you know what I mean there's no chemical compound in the water it also mineralizes the water so that you're not just drinking H2O, you're drinking water plus the natural minerals that are supposed to be in water. So I really like that about that. But everything that has to do with water filtration at home, it's expensive because it's not something that you buy one and done. It's something that you have to keep upon, you know? And it's not like it's hard to keep upon, but it's just like something that was meant to be free for everybody is now tainted and now good people have to suffer the brunt of that you know what i mean and that is what that is it that is it is that good people have to suffer because stupid people and evil people decided to do something stupid that affects everything and everyone in the world at least where i am right now because i know lots of countries don't mess around with their water and i wish i was in one of those countries right now um, to be honest and i'm not trying to be negative because i try to be extremely positive on this channel and you know it's just a thought just a thought i don't want to make it a problem because it really isn't but it's something for us to think about, talk about, 
find solutions for. I don't know, this is a temporary solution. I don't know how long or how sustainable this would be for me because if I should buy a house right now, I know that I'm going to filter my own water and have something that's more sustainable that serves me. This serves me now, but it's just, Sometimes I find it to be an inconvenience because I only get eight gallons of water from one of these filters, right? So all in all, in total, from two filters, because it comes in a two pack and in a four pack and in a six pack, and I think in a 12 pack, you're literally only getting 14 gallons of water. And I drink a lot of water. And let's say you drink a gallon of water a day, right? That only lasts you for 14 days. Like, so every month you're supposed to refill these. It's not sustainable, honey. It's not sustainable because these things, they come in plastic. The filter is in plastic. Where where does all of this go, you know? When, when it's filtered and I put it in my recycling, it's only 5% of things that are sent to recycling are actually recycled because when the garbage people come, I don't see them distinguishing between recycling and non-recycling. There's not a garbage truck that comes around for just the recycling. There's not a garbage truck that, that comes around just for the um, garbage. There's not a garbage truck that comes on for like your greenery and stuff. They all put it in the same place in the same thing so nothing is really getting recycled you know and all this plastic waste is just adding up and I just don't find it to be sustainable sustainable financially but it's not sustainable for the planet either you know what I mean so it's 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 a frustration for me and I'm doing what I can do right now but I find it to be unsustainable but I'm not going to continue to blurry on about it I'm actually in the midst of cleaning because you know we're adults we got chores so I'm gonna I'm going to continue in my own thoughts to think about it and continue to tidy my apartment because hey guys I am back here still shoring it up because you know we're adults we have chores okay don't come for me I am here I'm about to organize my like beauty concession stand storage situation it's very chaotic in there and I feel like I should I feel like I should share what's inside of there and get it organized and do a little before and after. <sighs> Don't worry, I'm not going to like put you through the whole, the whole situation. Don't worry about it, sweetheart. I will not put you through sitting to watch me clean again this moment today. I'm just gonna show you what I'm working with and then I'm gonna do a little bit of a time lapse and then I'll show you the after. So bear with me, okay? Okay, so this is my beauty concession stand there I am hi that's me I don't know what that was <laughs> But um, I just have like this Ikea drawer here at the side. I've got some little goodies, but we, we're not talking about that. Um, in this first drawer, this is where I keep all of my feminine products. I, I feel like every girl, every woman should have a drawer or a storage space for just her feminine products. So I normally take out all of these and like line them out, but I've been lazy lately and I have not even removed these from their bags but my last panty liner from a previous bag is out so I have to open this so it's a good time to organize this drawer and get everything out of bags and organized. I also have some nipple covers in here. A weird device for peeing without bending for women. Maybe for camping. Maybe if you're going on a car ride you just put this in your lady part and pee and it should just... Okay it was a weird device. I thought it was cool. I was actually Actually, I bought this like maybe maybe three or four years ago and I thought I would do something funny with it but I never got around to it so I just keep it I also have some more nipple covers in here this Vagisil itch relief formula which is out of date because I've had this for at least four or five years don't think I can ever use that again and I've got a tape measure in here and a random condom which probably will never be used <laughs> thank you very much <laughs> men okay in this drawer i have all my lip products and i have some palettes towards the back there and i think i need to get rid of some stuff that's in here that i just don't use and just clean it out as you can see the, this is white and it's a little messy 
so I need to take out everything and clean it. In this drawer, I have like face products. Luckily, I have a little bit of like some kind of sheet to put down here, but still it's not, it's not everywhere and things are still messing up the drawer, so I need to figure that out. There's also palettes towards the back and just like extra stuff, extra makeup and a lot of stuff that I actually don't even wear anymore. And in here is, I have all my brushes to wash my brush. I have all my palettes and stuff, lashes, lashes that I don't wear. Just like lots of stuff like in here that needs to be clean. I need to clean all my brushes because as you can see, some of them are dirty. I need to clean the ones that need to be clean, clean all my beauty sponges and get this organized. And then in here, I just have like my everyday hair care products and everything is just like very random. This is my favorite edge control, but I do use this sometimes to twist my hair. And as you can see, there's hair in here. Things are just like, it's just very, very disorganized. In here is my skincare drawer. I have my leftover skincare in here. My face halos are in here, just like skincare products and stuff like that are in here. Extras and stuff like that. This one is mostly organized, so I'm probably not gonna take that one out. In here is just kind of like another skincare drawer and like my everyday skincare stuff is in here, like my creams and fragrances and stuff. But as you can see, it's like all different kind of stuff is in here this which is not supposed to be in here i've got my aurora nails in here as well got this cute one that one and then i have this is what i do to cure my nails my gel nails it's a cute little lamp looks like this it has some stands you just like put it up like that and plug it in and it, it works really well that's what i've been using and i got this on ahora i've got my gasha container in here which I mean I don't need it in here but it's in here I've got my face steamer back there and some band-aids I've got my face scraper or scrubber I've got some skincare fragrance it's just like random stuff that needs to be organized and then this drawer is my miscellaneous drawer it just has a lot of different random okay this is like my travel case then I just have like random stuff in here random skincare backups of skincare supplies and stuff like that and then down here i have another drawer that is just undefined i've got nail polishes and nail, nail care stuff in here in the back is hair care stuff there's like an extension in here it's just like i need to organize all of these and yeah, I need to organize all of these and get it good. So I'm gonna get around to doing that and I'll see you guys on the other side of this.
Okay guys, this is what the first drawer is looking like. Everything is organized and in here and just easy to access. No more unnecessary plastic. I'm loving how this is looking. This is how it normally looks when I'm organized, which is more often than not, but sometimes we get a little, you know. <laughs> but I'm going to finish all of the rest of the organizing off camera and then I will check back in with you guys. Hey guys. It's the following day and I'm still on my cleaning journey, but I managed to declutter all of these drawers and organize them to perfection. So before I get into the drawers, I'm gonna show you all the stuff that I'm getting rid of. All these makeup palettes, I'm definitely getting rid of them. These foundations that I never use. Some skincare that I also never use. Let me tell you this, like if you ever see this brand online talking about buy or mask and your skin will be better, just ignore them. This this does nothing for my skin, okay? Nothing. And I've had my partner use this. And he, who is also not an expert on skincare, and he also said that this is shit. This is nothing. He said that this was not good and did nothing for his skin in comparison to other masks that I've had him try and other masks that I've used. If you want something to detoxify your pores, this is it. I just had an empty just laying around. This will get you good, okay? This Origins clear improvement active charcoal mask this will get you good that was just hanging out in my jar I do have a refill of that in my bathroom these are all the lip and eye care products that I'm getting rid of did you guys remember when the, the benefit bad gal bang was like the mascara to have now my go-to mascara is this one from thrive cosmetics this is so good it makes your lashes just look so extended so Oh my gosh, it's like lash extensions for your eyelashes and this cream licious like matte cream lipstick oh my gosh the consistency of this is so good it's matte but it's hydrating it's smooth it's creamy the texture the colors are pretty I just don't know why Ruby kisses don't put out more of these and advertise them because they are really good and I really enjoyed those some of the foundations that I'm getting rid of I've actually had them for over three years and I don't wear them and they're expired and they're also when I open in the tube they are either like watery at the top they're just not good anymore but I can tell you some of the ones that really worked for me in the time when I was using these the dewy smooth okay the dewy smooth the dewy smooth and the matte and poreless oh my gosh these are really good drugstore foundations they are exceptional okay the best drugstore foundations I find were these Maybelline ones and this one was good too the um 24 hour foundation the infallible pro glow it was okay this elf foundation i'm really throwing it away because it's not my shade and i'm not sure that i like the consistency of that the nyx was okay i'm not sure if this is my go-to favorite foundation of all time it just made me extremely matte and i'm not really a matte girl i'm like a glowy girl this color pop one was also not my shade this is a cream foundation from black opal that i used as a contour it got a little goopy towards the end and I stopped using it like years ago. This was a Colourpop no filter concealer that I used but I think it was too light for me. This one was also too light for me, the Smashbox Studio Skin and this is my go-to concealer. This one's just old and I already have a new one. The Ordinary was giving me what the NYX was giving me but the Ordinary was a little bit too red. This, I know people rave about this but this does not work for my 
skin I can tell you that much so I'm getting rid of that and that's almost full and I barely use that not really a fan this is just like that's been in there forever and I don't use it I'm just getting rid of some elf glue products because after using them for a while I just did not like it this is a dewy mist and this is a moisturizer but it has a little bit of a cast this Aveeno brightening cleanser I never use so I'm getting rid of that and then I got some empties of like clear nail polish just like they're empty I don't know why this one's up here because there's there's like a lot in that one I don't think I'm gonna get rid of that at least not yet there's some in there Okay, so that was a preview of that drawer. And then these palettes up here, let's see. I'm gonna put you guys on a tripod so I can show you these palettes because some of these palettes were really good. I don't know, I just don't go for them or, or they've been in my collection for such a long time that I'm just not interested. Like this Carly Bible palette, I bought this because at one point I was a Carly Bible stan, right? This was a beautiful palette. Like look at all those, but this was my favorite shade in the palette because it was such a good highlight for me. And the color that was in here I took out because I've never seen a shade like that and it looked so pretty on the eyelids. This was also good. This was also good. I used that and that. But as you can see, everything else I barely ever used or touched. I used that a little bit. And it was just in support. And then what also makes me want to throw this away is the glass is smashed. And I don't like to look in smashed glasses. So that's that. But that was such a good palette. And then most of the palettes that I'm throwing away are BH Cosmetic palettes and collaborative palettes. This palette I bought because of this shade. Shade. I was looking for a contour shade that could like suit my complexion and this was in there and she sold it to me This is the it's my Ray Ray palette with BH cosmetic and as you can see all of these are so pretty This looks like the shade that's in the Carly Bible palette as well But I don't know I don't have anything to put it in if I take it out of the palette and then this is the Actual palette pretty colors, but I barely ever like think about this I, I barely ever think about it The only reason why I bought it was for this and this was just too like dark and chalky on me it just didn't do it for me but I use these ones as you can see there's a little bit of indentation on those ones that I did like touch and it's pretty like these colors are very pretty but I don't I don't go for this palette and it's not something that I can give away because it has expired 24 months this has expired a long time ago and I just don't this is not something to give to anybody this is something to just throw away not because of the quality of anything. BH Cosmetic has good quality stuff. It's just that it has expired and I didn't like it. Another palette that I'm getting rid of is this one. This one is Contour Cosmetics, the Contour 2 palette. This one I bought because I thought it was going to be like a good color for me. I thought the, the bottom row was going to be a good color for me, but it was not. And I only used this and this out of the whole palette and it was just and then you see how it got like boopy and it didn't like stay in its pan I don't reach for this anymore and look at how dirty that is so I'm getting rid of that Sperm bitch. and then this was a Jeffree Star cosmetic palette that was gifted to me this is called the mini breaker and it looks this is actually very pretty and I consider keeping it but I never I never reach for this palette and I almost never wear these colors but I'm tempted to keep it because you never know when I'm gonna get like real festive and cute and wanting to do something festive and pretty but maybe not so I'm getting rid of that this is just a bronzer palette that I used to use I only use one shade of this for my under eye so what I did was I bought four of them and I took out the shade that I actually use to set my under eye and I just put that in one palette because these can pop out see those can pop out like that so I just I just did that so this is an old one I don't need that anymore and then this one this wasn't the contour palette this was the oh yeah this was one but this was a light color and I, I took this one out because I thought it would be like my shade but it's not so I'm gonna put it back in there and throwing that away as well and then another contour palette, which you see, I only use this color. This is an old one, don't need that. And then this was my 
favorite highlighter the wet n wild highlight mega glow oh my gosh this was just everything honey look at that look how pretty it's still pretty and i was tempted to keep it but it's old i don't i don't go for it anymore i found something a little bit more hydrating i like highlighters that are a little bit like um they're kind of like moist they're okay so now that i've showed you all the stuff that i'm getting rid of let's show you the drawers now you guys have seen this already this is still organized looking good all the extra stuff is in the back back there nice lovely this drawer oh my gosh it is so organized now I've got all my glosses all my lipsticks are just organized I've got some elf palettes here some additional eyebrow stuff I got lip liners and eyeliners and lash liners and a little brush for my brows and I've got some liquid eyeshadows here and I got lipsticks and lip glosses oh this is the Thrive Cosmetics mascara and it's so good oh my gosh I've got some liquid liners here my lash glue some products from MAC Wet n Wild Ciate this is a ColourPop more Wet n Wild ColourPop Elf Sugar Maybelline I've got some Smashbox more Elf Pat McGraw I love Pat McGraw stuff this is my favorite lipstick groupie from Lancome oh my gosh if you ever see my lips and they, they look juicy this is what I'm wearing and then I got my Fenty glosses which are definitely running out and I need to top up on those so yeah um that's what my lip drawer is looking like now the face drawer is looking cleaner nicer organized I got rid of lots of stuff in the back I've just got a palette from I barely ever use it but I think I may have used for it if I ever do a full face of makeup that is from black radiance i've got a little puff over there i've got my little palette for like foundation mixing right there always have to have hand sanitizer in your drawer to clean your hands before you do your makeup i've got some shine eraser blotting sheets some extra of this mineral infused face primer from l got the full one i've got this la girl primer as well i've got some powders and contour products this ben nine contour i don't know i may need that for like a Halloween I don't know this is my favorite primer from elf it's the poreless putty primer I left one like yellow banana powder in here just in case I would need to use that I've got this compact from Jeffree Star I got this one free so I'm keeping it a cute little sheeny blush from elf this is from Tarte and this is the highlight that I currently use it just looks like that and it has a putty consistency which I like and this is like a three in one compact it comes with a it comes with two blushes so I think that's pretty love that I have this cute little compact from Lancome it is so pretty it has the prettiest colors texture of these little eyeshadows are just so pretty that brown oh my gosh I love this I've got this from NARS this is the orgasm blush I think this is the mini and then I got my illuminating mega glow from wet n wild my lawn comb i've got some more glow products i probably use these on my body and not on my face i've got all my blushes and contour palettes and powders from elf and my con i use this for contour i got some adjusters like foundation adjusters and stuff from elf and this is my go-to concealer forever this is the photo focus concealer it just works for me and i did just leave this extra one just in case I would need something lighter at any point in time and then I've got this from Kim Kardashian makeup line and then in this drawer I've washed all my dirty brushes I've got a few palettes in the back I got my brush cleaner a fan to dry my face I've got some little tiny palettes here that just do like one eyeshadows which I love this one I think I use this in my this is like a nice one and go eyeshadow to just put over your lid and then I would put my highlight that I just showed you guys in the, in the top drawer like in the inner corner I've got some costumey lashes back there got some of this faux mink lashes here my lash holder which I think I need to clean I didn't get to clean this but this is just what it looks like but I will not be wearing any of these lashes anymore so I might as well get rid of them clean that out and 
put other lashes in there. I've got some other lashes by Kiss, some diamantes for like makeup and stuff, some more diamantes for makeup and nails and stuff, and some more diamantes for nails and stuff. And then these are all of my brushes and I just organized them from face brush to eye brush and then all of my sponges. This is one of my favorite palettes from e.l.f. It's so pretty and I can't wait to wear this. I got this months ago and I still have not touched it. And then right here, I just have some little tools, my scissors and some little tweezer tools and that's what that drawer looks like. In this drawer, I've kind of like organized it a little bit better. I put all of my everyday hair care products in here. Yeah, that's, that's just what that looks like. This is my skincare drawer. I just have some additional skincare in the back and just like, I'm glad that I cleaned this out because there were some things that was in here that I just didn't need. So I throw some of those away already. And then I got all of my face halos right here with like rags for my face. And then in here is additional skincare but body care stuff and some skincare devices and tools. This is my steamer. This is an electronic skincare device, my scrubber. There is a gasha tool in this black thing, some additional like hand soap and like my everyday skincare, you know, my set of fill, my baby oil gel, my Pacifica. Um, perfume and roll-on perfume spray. And then in here, I've transformed this into my nail care and, and my hair care overflow drawer. I have more hair care that's in like storage boxes, but these are what I would typically go for. So in here, I just have all of my gel nail polishes, oils, and cuticle softener. I just got this on Amazon. This is like for the pearl nails, you know, the Hailey Bieber nails. So I'm gonna try this out and tell you guys what I think. I upcycled this to put all of my hairpins in. This was just like a hair product that came in here that I tried out. And then these are all my Aurora, like, press on gel nails and I have about three of those. I've got some additional buffing blocks here, just like four of them and some hair supply stuff. And then in this last drawer, this last drawer is like a skincare overflow and just like miscellaneous things that I use. I've got candles because I use candles a lot. My everyday spiritual practice. Let's just put some of these down. I've got some tissue. I've got some additional, um, skincare, like my Cetaphil lotion. I've got sunscreens and aloe vera for like the beach stuff. I got my hair care stuff here an additional soap. I've got band-aids down there, like band-aids and some, this is kind of like a drawer of like self-care, first aid and stuff like that. So I don't use these toothpaste for like my mouth, but I'll use them to like clean jewelry and do, you know, there's different things that you can use toothpaste to do. So I just have that down there. And then this is like my travel bag for like skincare and makeup. So I just keep that in there. And that is, my drawer system. That's everything that's in there and I've managed to clean it out and put it in order and I'm very happy about that. Um, yeah, that's it.